Hey traders, hope you guys are well. So I got asked the question today in our Facebook group, you know, whether Bitcoin uh, was in a wedge and whether it was a potential short. So let me just show you the picture um, sent in Andrew. Hope you don't mind me sharing your post. Um, I thought I'd shoot a video uh, to go through this. So as you can see there, you know, the line going up there, you've connected the points there perfectly. Um, in fact, let me just make my screen a little bit bigger. That's better. And so you can see here, these, these points here have been connected. And then here, you've kind of fit the market through here. But the, the issue here, firstly, is that you haven't, you've gone through the candles here. So that kind of invalidates that. Yeah, so you need to be connecting high points, not going through candles. So from that point of view, you need to kind of adjust this line. But I want to speak a little bit more about wedges in general and patterns in general. So this is the daily chart of um, of, of Bitcoin right now. And so, you know, if you were going to kind of try and draw a wedge, I guess you would be kind of looking at something like that connecting those low points and then connecting these high points. And you can kind of see that that no longer looks like a wedge. Um, and so, you know, I think for me, unless it's really, really obvious, it probably isn't going to be uh, the pattern that you think. I generally don't like to trade off patterns where you have diagonal lines like that because they're kind of open to interpretation. Um, and you know, the reality is that we can we can all see things slightly differently. Someone else will look at this and think, I don't see a wedge there. You know, maybe they see a a, a channel like that. So that, that's kind of the thing that I want you to be aware of. Um, now, it's okay to find patterns, but they should kind of be like a confluence. Now, specifically, is this a good market to short? Well, if we kind of look at what's happened, um, I've been speaking about this for a little while now where I'm expecting Bitcoin to get to 50, 52,000 and then potentially find some resistance. And you can kind of see that there's, um, there's some, some good levels here. So old uh, resistance became support, acted as resistance. And we're, we're basically right there at the moment. Now, in, in theory, Yes, this is an area because it's a horizontal level. This is an area that you could consider as a point of uh, reversal and the market could go down. However, would I personally be shorting it right now? I, I wouldn't. Why? Because the sentiment right now is very, very strong and also like if you kind of look at what's been happening here um, on Bitcoin, you can you can probably see that this market, like it's kind of had this push up. Let me change that color. Let's make it a bit more visible. So we've had this like push up and then a good strong push, a little bit of consolidation, and then we're going again. Now, if this market is going to pull back, it will probably, it will probably potentially spike. Now, and, it, and it's very dangerous when the market sentiment is bullish to go against that. So my preference is something like this. It's not to say that, oh, it's not going to go down because it is a resistance point. And I've spoken about this, you know, between 50 and 52 and a half is an area that we could see a pullback. You know, I've been saying that. However, I'm... I'm kind of of the impression that if we're going to take a short, we're going to need to wait for a bit of a spike. And I would only really be looking at maybe something like this little zone here. And then even then, I'd kind of be looking for a very short term idea because right now, I think it's quite dangerous to be shorting Bitcoin because the sentiment is strong. Now, I'm not saying it's not going to pull back. As I've been saying, this is in that pullback territory but in trading guys you know you have to kind of also it's not just 
always looking at the lines and the technicals. You also have to look at your the energy, the feeling, the sentiment. Because when you're going against that trend, you're going to have to have a really strong setup. Um, if we go and look at the lower time frames right now, um, you can kind of see where we are. And, you know, this, this market has essentially had a rally up. It normally, so according to the Fibonacci rules, you know, the market will go back to its minimum objective of the 38.2, the first red line here, before then going up to its target here. Now, you can see here that this pullback didn't even reach the minimum objective, which is showing you how strong this market is right now. Like, it's already reached this target. And normally when you see that, you, you often see an overextension higher. Now, at this stage, with what I can see right now, I wouldn't short this right now. Um, I would keep it on my watch list, and I would be looking at any pullbacks as buying opportunities. Now, things can change, right? So you have to trade what you see. And so if you wanted to consider the short, perhaps one of the things that we could do is if we just um, – take the top end here of this channel potentially and we could project this down right there okay that's perfect right there you see there you're, you're kind of in the middle of that i'd be kind of looking at more towards here you see how the market has come down just below the 50 there and then rallied and then here just below the 50 and then rallied and i just wonder if it's going to do something similar here so you could try and find a, a strong horizontal level wait for that pullback and then possibly use that to buy and so if we just take a horizontal line and we put it here that would be a great great pullback but i just wouldn't sell it down there I wouldn't sell it. I mean, yes, it looks like a great big move. But for me right now, the sentiment is up. And it wouldn't surprise me at some point if we broke through this channel and started going up much, much higher, much, much faster. So let's keep an eye on this, guys. I, I, I would be kind of more inclined to keep an eye on this um, and seeing how it reacts rather than looking to go against this trend right now. And to answer the question, is it a wedge, is it not? Look, I'm, I kind of look at this as a, as is it an opportunity? And I prefer to use the channel lines. I prefer to use horizontal levels. Right now, I don't have enough of an edge to short this. Um, and I'm, I've been, you know, accumulating on the drop. So I'm net long of Bitcoin. But that doesn't sway me, guys. I'm still happy to go against that in my trading account if I see an opportunity. But right now, guys, I don't see enough of that. And that's why I won't be shorting it. Uh, but any pullbacks, I will be considering for buying opportunities. Okay, I hope that helps. Hope that's useful. And um, I'll catch you again soon with another video. Take care.